Hey guys, uh, in this video, as you guys get ready for your, your retake uh, AP Calculus exam, I want to go ahead over one particular element of the graph analysis. And this is important, and this is just a little nuance um, with the graph analysis because I've, I've been getting this question a lot. Uh, let's say you get the graph, right? They give you, uh, usually when the graph analysis, they're going to give you the derivative. I mean, that's the majority of the time, guys. Uh, it'll look something like this, right? So if I take the derivative of f of this guy, f prime is going to give me g which is this guy. So the derivative, this is the derivative. Now, a lot of times they'll say, well, determine the point of inflection, okay? And a lot of students say, well, is at x equals two, is that a point of inflection? And they'll say, well, no, we can't because, you know, it's, it's a cusp, right? You can't, you can't find the, the derivative. You're right, but remember, it's just asking for the point of inflection. Now remember, point of inflection happens when it changes concavity. Right, it goes from concave up to concave down. So when you're looking at this guy, notice here, see the, the slope is going up and afterward the slope is going down. So it goes up and it goes down. So the second derivative, okay, is positive. So be concave up. The second derivative here, because the line is going down, is concave down. So is there a point of inflection? Yes, at x equals two. Now, you got to be careful and read the question carefully because it'll ask you, find the value of the point of inflection at x equals 2. That's when you're correct. That's why you can't because it's a cusp, okay? Okay, it will be undefined, right? Because, see, yeah, there is a point of inflection, but you can't find the value of it because it's at a cusp. Now, the other thing I, um, I tell my students, take a look at this. Look, this is the, the graph of uh, the cube root of x, right? Notice how it goes, right? Is, is there a point of inflection at x equals 0? Yes, look it. It goes from concave up, and then it goes what? Concave down. So there is a point of inflection, definitely. Can you find the uh, value of the point of inflection? No, because you can't take the derivative of that at x equals 0. And then we can actually do it mathematically as well, right? Let's say I want to take the derivative. Um, so we have... Let's see, y equals, change it, x equal to the one-third, dy dx, right? Take the derivative, becomes one-third x, take away one, becomes negative two-thirds. And now we go ahead and plug in x equals zero, all right? What happens? That negative exponent goes to the denominator, okay? And when we plug in zero, what, what happens? You're going to get one over zero, which is undefined. You can't do that. So just be careful when you're doing these. And, and a lot of times they'll ask for it. You, you guys, if you've been looking at the other videos, you'll know they're going to ask you for that point of inflection. So you just got to be careful. Uh, are they going to ask you, okay, are they going to ask you, for is it a point of inflection? Or are they going to ask you, find the value of the point of inflection? So you got you to be careful with that and take a look at it. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Not a very difficult topic. Just kind of makes sense to, to what they're asking you guys. All right, guys, so send me any more questions you guys might have. I'll try to make as many videos as I can just to help you guys and, and prepare you just in time. All right, guys, keep working hard. Talk to you guys later.